You guys, now I'm back with a happy story. For those of you that don't know me, a little bit about me, I love happy stories, especially with kids involved. Especially when people are adopting children. This family wants to share their story. So we here for it. Let's get right on into it. Family sharing their journey with us. This Loveland couple has also fostered almost 30 children. Courtney King spoke with the family. This is an interview you'll see only right here on Fox 19. Now, Courtney, how many kids total have they adopted? Yeah, so Trisha and Rob right now are live outside of Hamilton County Job and Family Services because this is where Linda and Daryl Dick went through the process of adopting their three daughters that you can see right here in this picture. And they told us that at one point, things were so chaotic this year because they had six girls doing virtual learning because of the coronavirus, because they were still doing, um, they were still fostering children at the time. But even though they say things have been a little bit chaotic, they would not have it any other way. This journey probably started 35 years ago. Linda and Daryl Dick have been married for more than 40 years, and over the last couple decades, they fostered 29 children. They're well worth it. The Loveland couple says they learned about fostering earlier in their marriage through a friend at church. You'll get so much more joy out of it than any negative. But the couple says it's been tough to say goodbye to many of the children as they get older or move back in with relatives. It's like a piece of your heart. It's either broken or a piece of your heart's being taken away. After fostering for several years and their biological children out of the house, Linda and Daryl felt called to adopt. When she came up for adoptions, we had already made up our mind that we were going to adopt. Jaslyn came first as a baby. Her biological sister Ruby came into their lives a year later and then Jamie officially joined the family after the couple had been fostering her. I can't imagine not having them here. Ruby is eight, Jazzy is nine, and Jamie is 15. It's good. Um, it's been fun. With November being National Adoption Month, the couple hopes that their story inspires others to look into either fostering or adoption. There's a lot of opportunities be a part of people's lives. The couple was fostering up until this past spring, but they say it's now time to focus on their family. Probably finished with fostering. And, uh... We're getting used to the family life. <laughs> yeah. And Linda and Daryl say that they do keep in contact with the majority of the children that they've seen come in and out of their homes over the last couple of decades. And if you are interested in fostering or adoption, we do have some resources for you on our website, fox19now.com, as well as our free mobile news app. We're live tonight in Hamilton County, Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Courtney, wonderful story. Thanks so much. You guys, tell me that wasn't a good story. You guys, this is a wonderful story. It's been a hectic year for Darrell and Linda Dick. It's also been a year of transitions. The loving, the loving couple has been married for more than four decades. In that time, they're fostered 29 children. The couple say they learned more about fostering early in their marriage through a friend at church. 35 years of fostering later. Their journey, as Linda puts it, has left them equally with happiness and heartbreak. Part of the fostering experience, after all, is saying goodbye. It's like a piece of your heart is broken. A piece of your heart is taken away, Darrell said. But that didn't stop them from continuing the journey. They're well worth it, Linda said. You get so much more joy out of it than any negative. The Dicks are also biological parents of three children and the adoptive parent of three. Jocelyn came first as a baby. When she came up for adoption, we had already made up our mind that we are going to adopt, Linda said. Jocelyn's biological sister Ruby came into the Dicks' lives a year later. Then Jasmine officially joined after being fostered by the couple. I can't imagine not having them here, Linda said. We are busy all the time. Ruby is now eight, Jocelyn is now nine, and Jasmine is 15. It's good. It's couple. It's 
It's good. The couple said laughing. It's been fun. The couple has been fostering up until spring 2020 when Linda said, when Linda says at one point she was helping six girls with their virtual learning assignments. Now they say it's time to focus on their family. We're getting used to the family, like the real said. With November being National Adoption Month, the couple hopes their story inspired others to look into look into either fostering or adoption. There's a lot of opportunities to be a part of people's lives, Darrell said. Wow, you guys. Look at that beautiful family. I really love to see stories like this. I like it really touches my heart. God bless the dicks. God bless them. God bless their heart, you guys. Like, just take a moment and look at this family. They just look so happy. And it's a wonderful thing. And she says she's been fostering six kids. And now it's time to focus on their family. How wonderful is that? You guys, that's a wonderful thing. November is National Adoption Month. Sorry, you guys. We're just taking a moment to stare <laughs> at this picture. Like, I really love stories like this. It really touches my heart just to know, like, it's people out there that actually really still care, you know? And... These kids can actually have something called a real life. And that's the precious gift to a kid. Just to know that they loved. And not just off of greed. Actually love from the heart. And I can see in these girls' faces, they are happy. The dicks are happy. So yeah, you guys. November is National Adoption Month. So anybody interested? Fox 19 now have all the details on their website. You guys. Please take a moment and share this story. Show some love and support. And that's all I got on this story for now. And you already know. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I'm back. I really can't stop thinking about this story. This is a really, 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 really touching, loving story. This is what we need. You see this? These kids are happy. We actually get to see stories where kids are happy. Once we don't have a story yet where a kid is being abused, a kid is being hurt. This this is a happy, happy story, you guys. Please like this story. Share this story. Because I believe, and you believe, and you know in your heart, and I know in my heart, this story deserves some recognition, some attention. Even if it's just a click. Even if it's just a glance, like, check their story out. It's a really nice story. My heart goes out to this family. 
and I wish them the the moon, the earth, the sun, the everything. <laughs> well, you guys, that's all I got. See you in the next video. And don't forget to like the video.